Are you struggling to figure out how to practice self-care? In this video, I'm going to show you my secret to creating a self-care action plan that actually works. And it begins with you. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified every time I post a new video on intentional living and mindfulness. If you're like me, you've started out thinking about self-care with things like massages, candlelight, or meditation. Some kind of reward for a job well done. What I've discovered, however, is that it's really more about how I can best take care of myself. There are a lot of factors that go into creating a self-care action plan that works. You have to think about your physical space, your emotional space, your spiritual space, and sometimes even your financial space. So take a few moments to reflect on and decide what activities you find that make you feel better. Now these might not all be things like candlelight and journaling. Every person is different. Uh, I have a friend, for example, who finds going out on the ATV extremely relaxing and is a form of self-care for her. Once you've identified what activities qualify as self-care for you, then you can start to fill in your plan with those activities. If you're finding value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below what are some things that you do for your own self-care. Now, the last thing we're going to talk about is noticing your warning signs and knowing when to put your self-care plan into action. So there's no point in having a self-care action plan unless you actually know when it's time to trigger it. So if you start noticing um, trigger signs for you, like for me, for example, um, a trigger for me that I need to practice more self-care is if I'm sitting at my desk in the evening on my computer and I'm literally just staring at the screen and my eyes are tired, but I, I just don't have the motivation to actually move from what I'm doing. That is an indication for me that, hey, I might need to do a digital detox day. That's one of my self-care action plan items. So understand what your warning signs are so that you know when it's time to say, hey, time for a self-care day. So what do you think the secret to your self-care action plan is? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you're new to self-care, you may find it useful to print off your self-care action plan using this handy printable available at the link in the description box below. And until next time, be gentle.